Hi everyone, today I'm going to share my top three tips for staying motivated in midlife and well beyond. Hi, my name is Deb and welcome to Women Reinventing Midlife TV, where we aim to inspire women over 50 to thrive in a meaningful life that you deeply desire and deserve. Motivation is one of the things that women find they're lacking in midlife and often in the years beyond. We get to this stage where we feel like we don't have the mojo that we used to have. And a lot of things feel like hard work. A lot of women feel like this in their career and they wonder how they're gonna make it through to retirement doing the same thing they've always done even if they used to enjoy their job too. This can seep into other aspects of life too. And we end up feeling like we don't have enough energy to pursue any change that we might want anyway, even if we knew what it was. The thing is any form of change, it's important that we have motivation and we retain motivation and have consistent motivation, whether we want a healthier body, whether we want to lose weight, whether we want to change our career or have a more loving and happy relationship, whether we want to make new friends or even in retirement, you know, when we reach retirement, it's important that we have the motivation to retain our health, to still have purpose, to thrive so that we can enjoy our retirement years. But what do we do if motivation's lacking and we're having difficulty staying on track or even getting started. In the Her Rediscovery group program, I work with women in a few different ways that helps them build up that motivation so they can create the change that they want. And today I'm gonna share three of my top tips for doing so. So the first one is to explore your values. Dr. John Demartini is one of the top experts in human behavior. He says that true motivation is internal and it's present when we're inspired and when we're fulfilling our values. Our values are our internal drivers. They're at the core of any decisions that we make, anything that we choose to do and choose not to do. But not a lot of people have a lot of clarity around their values. But when you do have that clarity, you're able to make the choices that align with your values. And that means that your motivation is going to be a lot more consistent. Tip number two is to explore your passions and interests and align your actions with them. Now, how many people would even think to set a goal that's not in alignment with something that they're not interested in. It's, it's quite fascinating for me because a lot of people do this and it's because they don't have much clarity around what they're interested in and what they're passionate about. And this happens a lot with women in this phase of life because we've spent so much time and so many years putting other people first, putting other things first. We've actually lost sight of what's important to us, what interests us, what we're passionate about outside of all of those roles. But when we do, when we do have a lot of clarity around it, then we're able to set goals around our interests. We're able to do activities that support our interests and what we're passionate about. Now, let me tell you a little story. It's a very short story, but it illustrates what um, I'm sharing with you here. So I once had a client many years ago and her one of her top values were health and she had a health goal and that meant that she wanted to walk every day to support her health goal. But she kept getting in her own way. She kept stopping it. She kept losing motivation to go out for that walk that she knew she needed to, to take. The thing is, Health was also one of her top interests. She even had a business in the health area, but she kept getting in her own way. When we did a values alignment, when we did a values alignment, when we did an elicitation and explored all the values, what we discovered is that she had another value that was in conflict with the goal. When she realized this, she was able then to make choices 
that helped her align more, get over that values conflict. So then she was able to retain the motivation to go out for a walk. So the value that was in conflict was connection. So then she ended up inviting a friend to come along to the walk. And at the same time, she was able to catch up with her friend and that allowed her to stay committed to the goal. Now, tip number three is my personal go-to when all else fails, when I've got the value alignment, when I've got the interest alignment, yet all, all of that is failing, I'm still lacking motivation. But before I share that with you, I'd love you to subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe because it helps me support you and continue to bring this kind of information to you. Okay, so tip number three is my personal go-to when I'm really lacking that motivation and I'm about to give myself an excuse not to do what I said I would do, and that is to future pace. So what does future pace mean? It means to look at the big picture, look at the big picture and your decision not to do things, how it's going to affect that big picture. So how that decision not to actually follow through with what you said you'd committed to, how is it going to affect that big picture? How is it going to affect your goal to start with? Um, and how will that affect other aspects of your life? The, what, the place I use this the most is going to the gym. Now, I value health. It's in my top three core values. And I have a health goal that's to maintain my bone health, maintain my bone health. And part of that is to go to the gym to do strength training. Yet there are still times that I, I'm just about to opt out. I'm just about to let myself off. And even though I'm interested in health, going to the gym is one of my least favorite activities. But I know it's essential to maintain my bone health. So it's important for me to go. In moments like that, I ask myself this question. If I don't do this right now, how is it going to affect my goal? How is it going to affect my bone health? How is it going to affect my life as a whole? And within minutes, my shoes are on and I'm ready to head out the door and go to the gym. It works every single time. Now, remember, if we rely on external motivation, then we're, we're not having a lot of control around how consistently we do things. But when we focus on internal motivation, which is in the form of inspiration, it's present when we fulfill our values. So that means aligning our values to what we say we want to do, aligning our passions and interests to what we say we want to do. And then if you've got that alignment and you still, there's still, you're still just about to give yourself an excuse or a reason not to do it, just go to that, that go-to that I gave you, that if all else fails go-to, which is to look at how it's going to affect your goal and your big picture, your life as a whole in the future. Thank you for joining me. If you found this content helpful, remember to like the video, share the video. I'd love to hear your comments. Subscribe and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss out. Lots of love to you and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.